brutally murdered in San Fernando this morning. It was around 7 o'clock when the Claxton Bay woman who was staying at a friend's home had just entered her car to leave and she was shot multiple times. Reporter Sini Raghubat Higasing visited the scene and the victim's home today. She has more. After celebrating her teenage daughter's birthday last week and her 10-year-old son's birthday on Monday, 38-year-old Crystal Haricharan was shot dead on Tuesday morning. The Claxton Bay mother of two had been staying at a friend's home on Jarvis Street, Vistabella, after receiving threats. We are told her home was targeted multiple times this year. The friend spoke with reporters at the scene today. She now going to a vehicle to do a normal routine. She job school children and as she entered a vehicle, I heard, I now come in behind her about some couple steps. I see a white B-15 pull up and the gunman ran out and shoot she and jump in the car and fled the scene. The man says Harry Charan allegedly had a dispute with a neighbor in January over a parking issue. And since then, he says her home had been shot at, firebombed twice and her car chopped. He says despite the woman making multiple reports to the St. Margaret's, Marabella and San Fernando police stations, her affairs were not treated with care or urgency, which left her and her family feeling helpless. When she went to tell them about the second firebomb, the board, they started to tell she were coming here for it under investigation. They can't do nothing. So she, she was like all oh, waiting for me to dead. You understand? And poor, poor. It come like you have no help. You're going for help. And you're, your only help where you have can't even do nothing. You understand? But you much of them flee the scene here this morning. Why they didn't flee the scene when the house got burned down? When we visited Harry Charan's Budu Trace Claxton Bay home, relatives there said they knew that her home was attacked and that she was living in fear. But they never expected that someone would kill her. Well, she keep making report, well making report, and she, she many occasions she tell me she's really realized that guy will be following. She went picking up school children, so she's a hang by a friend house and don't go where she lives. Actually, she don't want them to follow she where she living. But apparently, they find out where she's staying and that's how they catch her. Her sister says they desperately want justice, but they're not sure it will come. This crime thing is too much. This government will do nothing for me. Innocent people get their life lost. And children have to suffer because of that. I want justice for she. But if I this law broken, I don't think we will get justice. If they want this, go below the rug. Cindy Ragubantika Singh, TV6 News. In a response this afternoon, the TTPS confirmed that murder victim Crystal Harry Charan did make reports at the St. Margaret's police station. They said it was in relation to damage to her vehicle, which occurred on December 31st, 2023, and they say her home was also firebombed. The TTPS says statements were recorded from her and from witnesses and diligent efforts were made to apprehend the named suspect. However, they say further information was received that the suspect left his home since the date of the incident and has not been located. The TTPS adds that the senior superintendent of the Southern Division maintained communication with the victim and instructions were given to have investigations expedited. The police service further states that they are unable to confirm whether those earlier reports are related to the murder of Ms. Harry Charan and says investigations are ongoing.